N. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Monday, the 20th of March. And here at TFNN, we are mourning the loss of our dear friend, uh, Dave White. Uh, just we're all feeling very, very emotional about this. Dow's up 364 at 32,226. You can see this, the green candle with the red candle. It's like a sandwich green candle. If there is a higher high above uh there is already above Friday's high. That's a good sign. But if there's a higher high, and especially a close above a Thursday's high of 30, uh, 32,281, that's going to be really important because the Dow has been lagging. And that means that the Dow finally is playing a little catch up with the financials doing a little bit better. Now, the S&P uh, in, that, in that sense is lagging, although it's up 20, 23 right now at 39.39. Thirty nine. <clears throat> it really needs to get to the uh, I would I would put it in the 30, 39.58 area or 39.63. That would be much, much better action. Looking at right now, it's at 39.39. We're looking at the QQQ, and that's the index 100 pulling back some. So this is that, that bifurcated market, the market that says on any particular day, some stocks go up, some stock sectors go down. And this is what we're seeing here. The Qs are down $1.83 at 303.56. They had a very good couple of days last week. Now pulling back a little bit. The ID WM, the Russell 2000, the small caps, the, the chart really has deteriorated a lot. But today it's up 282 at 174. Not bad action. Here's the, the, here's the real story. Will gold pull back? It's up six right now at 1979. In leg D, that's different to the GDX, which is really only in a leg B. It's underperforming in the notation of the Chapman wave. But what's really important is that this is the go-to area when there is a financial crisis. And we'll see if, there's, if, if gold continues to hold very well. It says this crisis is not over yet. At least this, this particular phase that we're in right now is not over. Looking at the dollar, and here's part of the clue. The dollar is very weak, made a lower low. Uh, then the last couple of days is down 54 ticks of 103.37 and that really favors gold. Oh, look at crude oil. Crude oil is down again, down 58 cents. But here's, the, that, here's another part of the story. We'll talk about that. The TLT is pulling back. So yields are going up a little bit, but it's all stuck within a range. I'll be back for the Tiger Conditions Hour. Check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. Hope to see you in a few moments and we've got a lot to discuss. Basil Chapman, see you in a few for the Tiger Technicians Hour.